Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl B Sparrow Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. How y'all doing today on this beautiful Saturday? It's 83 degrees right here at Oxon Hill, Maryland. Not too bad. I don't know um what the temperature um is gonna be like later on today, but I just talked to my dad in North Carolina and then they are burning up air conditioning system not working he said the fan is blowing out hot air he said he just laying back chilling trying to do anything he can to stay cool so one thing that I have to do right now before I do anything else is check my sound I have to check my sound Let me see, how am I going to check my sound if I don't have the app on this phone? That is a good question because I thought I had the app on the phone, but apparently I don't. Oh, got to make a note to download the Spreaker app on my phone. Let me see if I can go to the website and listen to... Normally, it won't let me do it on the website, but let me see. Just try. Let me see. If it'll let me. I'm not sure, but I was just talking to my dad on the phone, and we were talking about how crazy Oh, I'm in the wrong podcast. How crazy um, things are getting and people are getting very crazy in these days. And um, I believe that we are living in the last times, even though people have been saying that for centuries, (laughs) that we're living in the last times. I really do believe that we are living in the last times because... There are some crazy, crazy things going on around this world. Like, for instance, all across the world, temperatures are in 100 degrees, three digits, all over the world. Temperatures are in three digits. What's up with that? What is up with that? So I'm logging into my daughter's account right now. She doesn't know, of course. I hope she don't know. Um, Just to check this podcast. Uh, Now I got to search for it. I go through so much just to find out whether (laughs) my sound is on or not. I know my mic is on, but I just got to know. And I don't have much time. I do have this article that I want to read about heavy arm, a heavy arm officer at DC Metro. And I realize I haven't been talking a lot about what's going on in my own city. I'm always talking about what's going on elsewhere and never talking about what's going on in DC. Right here in Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, so much is going on. And I I just did not, not that I didn't realize, I just, I guess I just wasn't really paying attention. Let's say that. Um, Y'all bear with me one second. Bear with me one second. Let me see if I can find my podcast. Here we go. And I just need to check my sound to see if, in fact, now I got to wait until 
of course I have to wait until the commercial goes off. But uh, as I was saying, so much is going on around the world that the Bible says is going to happen in the end times. Rivers drying up, specifically the Euphrates River. But there are also rivers drying up right here in the United States. Um, so much division going on right now. So much division going on right now. And um, You got men against women, black against white, gay against straight, brother against sister, sister against sister, brother against brother, mother against daughter. Father against brother, sister against brother, father against mother. It's just division all over the place. Things are getting crazy. And so my sound is sounding real nice. Now, what is left for me to do is to find my article. I need to fetch my article. So, let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay? Okay. Sweet Talk Radio do not own copyright for this copyrighted material, but under Section 107 of the United States Copyright Office, Copyright Act 1976, this video, the music and content it contains is for education and or entertainment purposes only. All right, I know people have been sitting there, but I got to bring this queen up here. B. Sparrow. B. Sparrow. I'll just keep my eye on that sparrow. Who's sitting over here. Oh, I can't call it. I can't call it. I can't call it. Y'all know so much is going on around the United States of this year, America and beyond and the world. Everything is just chaos everywhere. So listen, we got to uh, try to get in a relationship with the most high y'all. Find out what it is we need to do because it's going down. It's going down. Um, According to NBCWashington.com, sight of heavily armed officer in D.C. Metro station raises concerns. The Metro Transit police officer could be seen seemingly alone and watching the crowd in the gallery place Chinatown station. Mm, that's a fairly busy metro station. That's a transfer station, too. There is video. Some metro riders were alarmed to see a heavily armed officer in downtown D.C. metro station. Adam Tuss has info from Metro on why you may see more of these officers. The sight of a heavily armed officer in a downtown D.C. metro rail station raised concerns among some riders. Video posted online Tuesday had riders questioning whether a man seen holding a gun and wearing military style gear had proper identification to show he is an officer. He could be seen seemingly alone and watching the crowd in the gallery place Chinatown station. Again, a very busy transfer station. Yes, so I probably will be concerned too. Last time I saw heavily, heavily armed. Now, now I'm talking about personally saw, not that it, it hasn't been here since, but last time I saw DC on lockdown like that, when you saw like tanks and uh, this was in the 80s. But I have seen on TV around 9-11 where they had tanks. But physically seen, last time I seen it like that was in the 80s. 
all over the place. Every corner, you saw tanks and 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 men and women in army gear. Like it was amazing. <laughs> this article says the social media account Washingtonian Problems shared the video sparking questions. Metro Transit Police Chief Michael Anzalio Anzalo that's what it looked like to me y'all Anzalo he just Chief Michael okay he spoke Wednesday about the type of officer that was seen he says we have recon- reconstituted several special weapons teams that we do have patrol on a daily basis through Metro he said the person who took the video of the officer said they didn't see any identifiable patches or badges. Metro Transit Police said the officer was wearing appropriate identification. Here's what they said about the special response team and how to identify these officers. MTPD periodically deploys its special response team as part of our high visibility patrols and crime prevention strategies. These officers are specially trained to respond to incidents and can assist the public if needed, the department said in a statement. They wear a name tag and badge on their outer vest cover, an an MTPD patch on their left shoulder, and a special response team patch on their right shoulder. Listen... Don't be mad at us because we suspicious. You've seen how many people um, shooting up places, some wearing tactical gear. We didn't know who he was. The dude that shot up um, the Buffalo um, market, supermarket, he had on tactical gear. People was greeting him outside talking to him. So we didn't know. We don't know. Don't look. Look. Anyway, (laughs) y'all, let me take this break and calm down. Okay. I'm going to take this break and calm down. I'm going to be right back. Okay. Okay. What is up, y'all? You're listening to B Sparrow on Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. Okay, y'all, she's black and she is back. And when I told y'all I needed to take the, a break to calm down, I had to take some deep breaths. Ooh, because this is too much. Imagine just going to work on the metro and you see heavily armed officers or or not even sure if he's an officer or not. You see a heavily armed person just standing there. What are you going to do? So, again, these officers are specially trained.
So let me know what y'all think about this. Like, comment, subscribe. Not just to my YouTube channel, but come on over here to my podcast on Spreaker.com. Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. Follow me there. And in return, I'll do the same. It's your girl, B. Sparrow. Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. Holla at y'all, girl. Okay? Okay? Bye, sweet.